Hello everyone, this is Feta Hafiz from Sharjah American International School. I am in grade 11. This video is the first in a series of videos about programming NXT2 bricks using RobotC. Now, there are many programs you can use to program an NXT2 brick, such as NXTG, for example. The difference between NXTG and RobotC is that NXTG uses blocks that you can drag and drop. RobotC, however, is a text-based programming language. Now in this video, I am going to explain the main task, motors, the wait function, playing a sound, and displaying text on the screen. So the main task is what your robot will do when you run the program. You write it in code by typing in task, task, main, and then parentheses. Then you open curly brackets and close curly brackets. Now, uh, let's see. Let's say you we want to display text on the robot screen. You do that by typing in NXT display, and you see that you get a lot of options here. So NXT display string, and then you open parentheses, and first you're going to type in a number. Now the NXT screen can has uh, numbers for the lines of the screen starting from 0 and the bottom line is 7. So let's say we want to display in line 2 and then we type in what we want the screen to display. So let's say we want it to display um, ready. And then we type this in quotation marks. Then we close the parentheses and we put a semicolon at the end so that the program will know that this is the end of the command. So if we just put this in and we download this to the robot, it will like it will run very very quickly. So we need to put something for the robot to slow down the command. So that is a wait function. We do this by typing in wait. Now you can either use ten wait one ten wait ten msec or wait one msec. Now ten msec is ten milliseconds and one msec is one milliseconds. Now I use one millisecond and then between parentheses you type in a number that will be multiplied by one millisecond so for example if you want it to happen for one second that would be one thousand and then you put a semicolon at the end again now if you want uh, this time to display text that is a little bigger in size we can use NXT display big text line and also we type in the line number then the text that we want to be displayed so let's say we want start and you close the parentheses and type in a semicolon and again you have to use a wait function so let's say one second so that's one thousand then if we want for example the motors to move we type in motor and then square brackets we type in which motor we want to move depending on the port that the motor is in now mine are connected to motor A e and then equals to and you type in a number which will represent the power that you want to motor the motor to move with so if you wanted to move forward with a full power you type in 100 if you wanted to move at half power, you type in 50. And if you wanted to move backwards, you type in negative whatever number between 1 and 100. So let's say 100. Now, if you want a motor that is already moving to stop, you type in 0. And this will cause the motor to stop. Now, let's say you wanted to move forward with 50 and then you put in a semicolon at the end and again you have to put in a wait function but if you want both motors to move so another motor motor square motor c square brackets equals 50 as well and then you put in the wait function wait one I'm sec let's say two seconds so that's 2000 and then semicolon now 
If we want, for example, the robot to play a tone after it is done moving, uh, we can do that by typing in play tone. Now between the parentheses, first, the first number you insert is going to be the frequency. So let's say a tone with frequency of 1000. Then the second number is the the seconds of how how long you want the robot to move, and it's in ten, ten milliseconds. So let's say um, one hundred ten milliseconds. So that's one second, and then you put a semicolon at the end. You always put a semicolon at the end of commands. And let's say I wanted to move more. You can still use a wait function with the playtone. So wait one sec, and uh, let's say 1000. So this is the end of this uh, program. Now if you want to, the end of this video, and if you want to see this applied on the robots, you can go ahead and watch our next pro video where we will discuss how to download firmware on your robots and how to download and compile a program.